in this video we are going to learn how to make a Windows 11 ISO file. ISO file is basically is an image file which actually replicates your good old DVDs. Uh, we don't have many DVD drives around these days so we just download an ISO file. This ISO file can later be uh, mounted as a DVD drive on your Windows 10 system for example or you could actually use the ISO file to burn it onto the disk if you still have a DVD burner lying around. So let's see how exactly we're going, going to get this ISO file. We're actually going to get this directly from Microsoft. So this is going to be the process. So first of all, we're going to go to uh, search Windows 11 download tool. This is a small tool available on Microsoft website. I'll put the link down in the description as well. You will, the, the tool that we need is the create Windows 11 installation media. So uh, click on the download now and wait for the download to finish. It is going to be a very small tool, so it will download quickly. Uh, double click on the tool to launch it uh, and the tool will start. Once the tool starts, it's going to take a couple of moments to download the terms and conditions. And these terms and conditions are something that you will have to accept. So uh, let's wait for the terms and conditions to download. Yeah, let's accept the terms and conditions and it is going to move to the next step. Yeah, so only option you can select from this menu is to select which language you're going to download Windows in. So I will stick with the United States English and I will click next. From here you select ISO file, not USB. And this is now the dialog which asks me where do you want to download the Windows file. I will rename it to Windows 11.iso and now the progress begins. So let's wait for the download to finish. This is going to be something around 4.5 GB of data to be downloaded. Alright, the download is almost complete, but the process is not complete yet. Once the download is complete, it's going to show the progress 0% again. It will verify the download and it will take some time to verify and then write the media to your ISO file. Uh, it will make sure that the download has been correctly uh, placed in a temporary location. From that location now, it is actually writing your ISO file. Once you have the ISO file, uh, Windows 8, Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 are capable of mounting ISO files directly. You just double click on them and they will mount. Once they are mounted, you can run the setup and install Windows 11. Depends if you want to install Windows 11 uh, on a fresh computer, uh, which does not have Windows before or you want to start afresh. Or you could probably uh, install Windows 11 as an upgrade. In both cases, I have videos in detailed tutorials how to uh, install Windows 11 fresh you can click on the card above or you can look for Windows 11 installation as an upgrade from uh, existing uh, operating system you can click on the card here and once uh, uh, we have this download complete there is also an option of burning the ISO image onto the disk uh, this tutorial will not cover how, cover how to uh, burn that image onto the disk but in some cases there are uh, steps in the installation of Windows 11 where uh, on older computers it gives you some errors like the TPM is not supported or secure boot is not there so I have a separate window uh, separate video on that you can uh, uh, watch that video to see how you can install Windows 11 on older computers now you can see the uh, download is complete. Uh, this is the location of your ISO image and you can now use this for installation of Windows.